All right, guys, so today I'm fishing near Newport, Rhode Island. Um, so the goal for today is use the needlefish in the morning, look for the fish, and um, once I find them, I want to use a whopper plopper to catch these fish. So um, I spent a long time this morning looking for schools of active fish. I paddled probably three miles um, at this point. So I'm getting a little tired, a little frustrated, but does end up working out. Um, I find, um, I luckily I catch a school of blitzing fish off in the distance. I end up paddling all the way over there and end up catching a couple fish. So I hope you guys like the video and enjoy the whopper plopper action. I've never seen anybody use whopper ploppers for stripers, but enjoy. I think I see birds working down, down this direction, but hard for me to say. I don't know if they're just landing on the shore. It's at a weird angle. We're gonna go look. All right, so I see some fish breaking in front of me. They look small, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope there's something bigger cruising with them right now, because that's all I got. I could cast my SP, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to catch I'm not trying to catch small fish, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah, they're cruising back over here. I'm gonna hang over in the, that corner of the bay because it seems to be where they're, where they're hanging out. All right, I just passed over that school of um, schooly stripers, it looks like, but I'm still gonna make an attempt over here and hope there's some bigger fish hanging around. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish right there. I did bring my, oh, there we go. Oh man, I missed him. Yeah, now they're all around me now. So at least I got a chase, it's nice. Do a little shimmy. There we go. That's a big fish right there. Nice. Oh, that's what I wanted. It's probably gonna pop off, but. That's a nice fish right there. Oh man, that's a nice fish. It's probably, I guess 35, maybe not. Uh, it's in the water. Definitely a keeper though. Barely hooked. A nice little fish. So I might keep another one. I actually ate the, um, the other one pretty quickly that I got. I'll still fish, but I'll let the rest of them go. Obviously, let the rest of them go today. Let me just take a peek. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's my little friend. <sighs> wow, they're busting over there.
Okay, 20. Oh, this is so difficult in the kayak. Thirty on the dot, so we're gonna keep him, and we're just gonna fish for fun the rest of the day. Look at all of them right there; it's cool. All right, so I'm gonna do a little shimmy, and sometimes that can get them to bite. You just go like this, drop it. See, that's it. Sometimes it's the little things that you do that help you get a bite. A nice little schoolie. All right, let me get my whopper plopper on just for fun. All right, guys, so this is the whopper plopper. I'm sure, sure you've heard of it quite a bit. So this is why I put the clips on there, by the way. The leader already attached. Oop. All right, so. As this thing goes to the water, the tail spins and it's obnoxious, it's really loud. We get it to go straight. When fish bite these, it's actually, it's really cool. So cast it, it's obnoxious. So sometimes I'll just rip it, let it sit, rip it, let it sit, or you could just steadily reel it in. So let's cast a whopper plopper to these stripers. I actually started using these probably a year ago. Just as a joke, I was like, I'm gonna buy one and just see if anything, any uh, saltwater fish will try and grab this thing. I mean, of course they probably would. You just gotta catch them at the right time that where they actually want something like this, but we're gonna try it today. Here they are, I'm gonna cast right in front of them. Got him on the whopper plopper. Is it a blue? Oh, a little stripe. Oh, that's weird. All right. He actually wrapped himself, so, yep. Whopper plopper fish right there. All right, let's see where they're poking around at. Them over there. Where are the bigger fish? These are all schoolies. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's a decent schoolie. Look at that. Nice little whopper plopper fish right there. So it looks like they just want little tiny movements on it and that's it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with that, that hypothesis. All right, let's see, let's give it a try. Barely moving it, just pop, pop, pop. Unless they're over there. Oh, I see them, I see them. Oh, as soon as they get over there, they're gonna fly. They're gonna swim the opposite direction. So, oh, I knew it. Yeah, these um, stripers are preferring the whopper plopper when I just do small little twitches, just enough to get the tail going. And they're coming up and grabbing it. Oh, there they are. There they are. Just little twitches, little twitches. Oh! 
Ooh. <laughs> that was a night. Nice oh, that's a big one. <laughs> oh man, please be a keeper on the Whopper Plopper. Please be a keeper. Oh, I think that's a... Oh, he's running. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yep. That, that's a keeper on the Whopper Plopper. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I th that's my first keeper on the Whopper Plopper, by the way. That's bigger than the other one. Yes, 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 yes. That's so cool. So I want to snap this off because I don't have another. I don't have another one with me. There he is. So there you go. Whopper plopper in a keeper striper's mouth. Yeah, he came up and sucked that down. Look at that. That's so cool. Well, if you want to have fun or you want to bring the kids out, use a whopper plopper and chuck it into a blitz. There we go. All right. Nice keeper fish. Check the camera again. Make sure it doesn't have spooge on it. There you go. Excellent. I'm trying to have fun this, this time out. Be cut a little more than uh, just enjoy this time out. Um, because gas was 519 between 513 and 519 coming up here so or coming down here so I'm not looking forward to the, the summer so I'm gonna try and enjoy this while I have it there they are oh there's one got him He's swimming right towards me. Come on. Ooh. Oh, that's a decent one. It's probably like a 25. Vicious. Man. Ah, oh, I fell right out. It's good. All right. I might take a break over in the this little beach thing over here. All right, so I was paddling up this little stream right here to go take a break, and I saw at least 10 striped bass swim from this little shallow area right here. So we're gonna see if we can't catch one. I thought maybe there'd be sea robins in here or something, but there are stripers, so it's pretty cool. Cast back up there again. All right, I'm gonna try up this little creek over here. It's actually pretty deep in there. It's like three foot deep. Huh. This... Might be worth an explore. I actually see a little salt um, salt pond back there. All right, so I just paddled up that creek. It was like foot deep into this into this little. Um, salt pond and I did see some 
fish moving around in here, so we're gonna see if we can't get one of them to bite. They're gonna be really skittish because of how shallow it is, but never know. Let's be as quiet as I can be. Oh, 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 there they are. There's some big fish in here. This, oh my goodness, there's some big fish in here. <gasps> oh, all right, this is gonna be cool. Oh, there's a big one right there. There's a bunch of them right there. I've never seen stripers in a salt pond before. That's really cool. All right. So I might have to switch it up and put something a little bit smaller on here. Oh, there's one right there. There's... Oh, there he is. All right, I had one follow it. That's good. There's one right there. Man, please get me a keeper in the salt pond. That'd be so cool. I don't know why it came up in here, but it's... Yeah, there's one following it right now. Like, they're big fish in here. These aren't little tiny schoolies. There's some large bass in here. Oh, there's one right there. I just scared him. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Come on. There's one right there. Man, look at him. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. In the salt pond, yes! Cool. Oh man. In the salt pond, it's like two, two foot in here. Yes! In the salt pond. Oh, there's like three. There's like three of them right there. Like good sized ones. Yeah, these are these are not small fish in this. Uh, wow, there's a lot of them in here. Um, yeah, these are not small fish in here. And on the whopper plopper, look at that. That's def That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's crazy. Look at that. In the salt pond, look at that. Tiny little place. That's wild. They're fat fish too. Look, I could watch them swim away. Look at that. That's insane. checking the lens. This is nuts. So don't ever just assume there's no fish in here because it's a tiny little pond. All right, just fishing here the rest of the day. There was a there's a bunch of good sized stripers in here. This may be a mistake, but I want to look.
Oh, there's one right there. I feel like I'm bass fishing. Like largemouth bass, that's crazy. Ugh. It's actually pretty hard to stand up and, oh, there's, oh, there was a nice fish right there. That's a nice fish. That was another keeper that just swam right past me. It's gonna be careful when I, if I get a bite when I set the hook, I don't tip myself over. This would actually be a good spot for a weak fish. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw one cruising around in here. There's a striper right over there too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it like 10 more casts with this thing and then, oh, there's a striper right there. See, they're coming up to the kayak and looking at it. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just carefully, David, carefully, carefully. All right, whoop. <clears throat> Yeah, the striper's right in front of me, like 10 feet in front of the, well, to the rear of the kayak, they're right there. The bugs back here are ridiculous though. Hey, I've never done this type of fishing before. This is, this is cool. Nice, don't have to deal with any waves, no boats, no people walking around. I didn't bring any weightless sluggos today. It's too bad. All right. I see the stripers are making wakes. Oh, there's one striper right there. See, keeper. There's another one, small school. Ooh, there's a big one right there. There's a chunky one. All right, all right, I think I'm done. All right, I might cast a couple more times on the way out, but we will see. Um, so you can see how big this spot isn't and how shallow it was. It was maybe three three foot at the most. And there are keepers swimming in here right now. That's really cool. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to head out. Caught three keepers today, kept one. Um, two, two of the fish were on whopper ploppers and I caught um, one keeper in the beginning on a needlefish, the good old needlefish. Um, so this is actually the exit to the salt pond, entrance slash exit. Uh, it's not very deep, maybe 20 foot wide. I know it looks probably wider with the settings I have on my GoPro, but trust me. Um, so it's crazy to imagine all these fish just swimming up this little tiny area from the ocean and getting stuck in there. It's amazing. But I know there's plenty more areas like this um, around. So don't limit yourself to open bays, marshes, don't be afraid to go way back and explore if you have a kayak. But I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the Whopper Plopper action. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe.